Okay, here we are. We're gonna um, talk about trach care and trach suctioning. So, first thing you're gonna do is gather all your equipment up, get ready with your suction catheter uh, tray or just your suction catheter. You'll need some sterile gloves. Then you have your trach care kit that you're all gonna be given one of, and we'll show you how to use things that are in there. And there's also some sterile gloves in there. I have some regular gloves here if I just need to do something clean technique and not sterile. I, of course, would make sure I have the correct patient. I have an order that I talk to the patient, tell the patient what's going to be happening um, so they know what to expect. Typically, a trach patient should have suction available to them so that you can always suction them. Um, a lot of times they'll have suction because they'll be having a lot of secretions, so they will have a yanker suction here so they can go ahead and suction their mouths and things themselves. And then oxygen, and in some cases you may be um, hyperoxygenating a patient before you suction. Um, and hyperventilating them too, perhaps. So you always want to make sure that you have your ambu bag nearby um, if you need it and ready to go. So first thing I'm going to do, of course, shorty knee doesn't have the bed up too high. Um, put the head of the bed up if you can, if the patient will tolerate it. We know that helps um, so the lungs can expand and so the patient doesn't aspirate as easily. I'm going to check my suction first before I get my sterile gloves on. Go ahead and turn this regulator on, all right? And then I test it by holding the end of the tubing. And I, around 120 here is very good, 80, 120. Uh, your books say you can have a little bit higher with suctioning the trachs, but typically around 120. If you do go to turn off your suction and you have it where you need it to be, turn it off up here. Don't turn it here where you adjust it because then when you turn it back on, you have to turn and readjust again. So you want it ready to go right where you have it. So I have it around 120. I always put it down here so I can have it nice and handy, tuck under the pillow if it's available. Okay, then I'm going to uh, dig into my supplies. And I have my suction, suction catheter tray. Again, this is sterile. We don't want to be introducing things into our airway, into our lungs, uh, something that is not sterile and perhaps causing, causing an infection. You can go ahead and peel back. Now this kit has gloves in it, um, but they didn't fit me too well, so I, I took a different set of gloves. So I have my sterile gloves. Not all your kits are going to have gloves in them. Sometimes it's just a suction catheter in there. So you have to go and um, get everything you need ahead of time. It just depends on what facility you work at and what area you work in. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I'm going to loosen my cap here and get my sterile water ready. I'm going to go ahead and put one of my gloves on. I hope this fits. So far, so good. Setting up for tomorrow. Can you guys wait outside? Okay, do you want to step? All right. Welcome to the students. Gloves number two. I'm not going to worry too. Oh, shoot, I put it on. I knew I was going to do that. All right. So, I don't know if I can unfold this back, but this is going to be really tricky. There we go. All right. So, with my clean hand, I'm going to hold my water. With my sterile hand, I'm going to take out my catheter. Put my water in here. All right, I'll try this one more time. This is just too hot this morning. And once you do it, you won't do it again. I hope. All right, so this is going to be considered from now on my sterile hand, and this one is going to become dirty because or clean because I'm going to be touching my tubing with it.
on a hook on my suction. Test again how good my suction is because uh, it could change with your catheter on there. I'm going to lubricate my tubing and suck some up so that I make sure I get some in there. I'm going to tell my patient, here we go. Insert the catheter. Just keep going till you hit the climate there. And then come back and kind of jiggle or twirl the tubing when you're coming back out so that you can get all the secretions out of there. You're going to keep an eye on your patient while you're doing this. If they need oxygen, you're going to have the person that's helping you give them oxygen. If they don't, you just tell them, take some nice deep breaths. And it does kind of tickle when it goes down in there. So wait a little bit. Gonna go again. Again, no suction on. I hope you read your books before you did this. No suction on when you're putting your tubing in. When you hit resistance, come back. You wanna do that in a matter of a couple of seconds. You don't wanna do any suctioning longer than 10 sec seconds. Um, your patient could become hypoxic so you don't want to cause any trouble. Um, I'm going to go one more time. In, hit resistance, kind of wiggle my tube around or twirl it in my hand. And then every time you come out, you're running the, the water, the sterile saline, through your tubing to make sure that you're getting all the, as you know, I call them oogies, um, <laughs> secretions out of there and not clogging your tube or your suction tube. So you want to make sure you do that. The patient looks like he's doing really well. So I'm going to let it go at that. Again, you're going to suction some more up. Make sure your tubing is nice and clean. You can go ahead and roll up your tubing in your glove. Disconnect it. You can shut it off because it's so noisy. It'll drive you crazy. And you can go ahead and keep your tubing right inside there and get rid of your gloves. Okay, that's that.